Hello and welcome. I wanted to take a moment to answer some viewer requests, uh, or one specific viewer request, for an item that's becoming much more popular lately, and that is the Photon Blade. Now, Vader's Vault started out with this idea of the Photon Blade a while back, and it's since picked up. A few other people offer them. Uh, they also have what's called Enhanced Day Blades, which were attempts at different colored photons. I wanted to talk about what those are and what they do. So, for, for the sake of reference, what I have with me here today, I have a dual diffused blade. Now, this is a standard clear tube, diffusion film inside, sanded on the outside, same kind that you get from Vader's Vault as a dual diffused. You could make this with an Ultra Sabers blade or a Custom Saber Shop blade as well. This is basically going to take any color light that I put through it and just diffuse that light throughout the blade, uh, hopefully evenly from, tip, or from the bottom to the tip. I have here a yellow day blade. Now this is standard yellow stock, diffused on the inside, not on the outside. This is going to take the standard, or this is going to basically take whatever color that I put through it and yellow tint it. Yellow is going to be a deeper yellow, red is going to be sort of an orangish, white is going to be yellow. Uh, so this is going to transmit the light and tint it yellow. Then I have a photon blade. Now the photon blade here is sort of a yellowish color but it has photonic capabilities that I'll talk about in just a moment. I also have here a green day blade from Kyberlite. Now these things, I don't think they realized they had photonic capabilities, but the yellow dye in this is a photon yellow, same as in the other one. So this is like a combination between a day blade and a photon blade. And then I have two homebrews. This is a standard blade that I put a film on. Now this is an auto film. Uh, this is a headlight tail light glitter film. It's very similar to that green photon blade or that uh, green day blade that I showed you earlier, but it's another way to achieve the same effect from the outside. I did this one because another way to do the same thing is to paint the outside of a blade. Uh, I've seen that done as well, and this is a very similar version of that. I just used a film instead of paint. And lastly, here I used paint. I wanted to talk about the other colors other than green, so I have an orange one. This is standard fluorescent orange spray paint that you can get at a hardware store put on a cheap plastic blade from an ultimate effects saver that broke. All right, now what you'll be able to see here in just a moment, there we go, what you'll be able to see is if I shine a blue light on all these blades just sitting here, you'll notice that the yellow day blade and the clear blade appear to be darker, whereas the other ones seem to glow by comparison. If I transfer this over into a red light, you're going to notice that none of them glow. They all seem pretty dull. Now, the reason for this is that fluorescence, the way that they work, think about that day glow sign that you see if you're advertising a yard sale on the side of the road. The way that that works so well is that a standard yellow piece of paper is going to reflect the yellow light waves back at you. Uh, you're going to lose a little bit of it, but it's going to reflect just yellow. Photonic, or fluorescent, paper is going to reflect the yellow, but it's also going to take lower spectrum light waves, like ultraviolet or royal blue, and it's going to transfer those into yellow and reflect that or emit that as well. So it looks brighter because it is, or is brighter. Uh, it's basically reflecting the same light that you usually get and transferring other light into that spectrum for a general output of like two to three times the brightness. All right, now transfer that into blades, and here's what you get. All right. If I take my saber here, and I were to run a standard photon blade through it, let me start on red. There we go. If I put the red through it, you end up with red. The photon blade makes it sort of a beige-ish in places, but the red pretty much transfers right through the blade, just like it would a clear blade, with only a little bit of discoloration. It's not any brighter than a standard red blade, and it's still red. Okay, shift to orange, I still get orange. Shift to yellow, I still get yellow. Now things start to get interesting. Okay, well, actually not quite yet. Green. Green is going to come through just like it would through a green day blade. Okay, it's bright, it makes a deeper green than I had before. And okay, there's a different green. When I get to blue-green, though, then I start to see the photonic material do its job. Blue-green gets to be substantially brighter. 
What's happening here is I've got a full green, full blue LED going. And the, the green is going right through like it would through a standard green day blade or a clear blade. The blue is being transformed into green and being emitted in addition to that green light. So it's about twice as bright as it usually would be. This is a brighter blue-green. Here's a royal blue. Here I'm just getting that glow, that emission, and it's still brighter. It's taking that less visible blue light wave, transforming it into a more visible green light wave for this, what Vader's Vault calls a rack ghoul green. Okay, if I keep going, purples, these next three are purples, I end up with that blue being transformed and the red is coming through as well. So I end up with something that's kind of yellow on the outside, kind of pink on the inside for sort of a watermelon blade, especially here, which is a full purple. And then here is a white. This is red, green, blue, and white LEDs pulsing from half to full. Okay, now you notice in the reed in the room around me that this is very, very bright. The white goes right through, the red goes right through, the green goes right through, and the blue, the less visible, is being transformed to augment that sort of green. Right, shift back to red. Now let me compare this to some of the others. Right, the green day blade. Okay, it muddies up my red a little bit more, like a green day blade would. It turns my yellow into green green tinting the yellow light and sort of augmenting the green that's in the yellow. Full green, full green. When I start to hit blue greens though, I start to see it get a little bit more bright and see a little bit more of that rack ghoul color. So there is a blue green, there is a bright blue green, and you can see it looks very similar to the photon blade. There is royal blue. And here we get into purples. And here's that white. So the green day blade actually is kind of like a greener version. It's not quite as bright as the standard photon. It's not quite as versatile, but you do get that photonic emission. And if you like green, it's great. All right. My one with auto film works very similar to that. Red, orange, yellow, green, dark green, green blue, bright green blue, solid blue, purple, pink, light purple, and white. So very similar. So if you want to paint color into places on a photon blade, you can. Now let me talk about the red one. Now again, Vader's Vault offers these as enhanced day blades, uh, or something similar to this. I just spray painted a standard tube. It's not diffused, so it's not as evenly lit. But let me show you how this behaves with the light. Okay. If I'm shooting for red, this kind of turns my red into an orange, like an orange day blade would. Makes my orange still orange. Yellow is orange. My uh, greens are coming through as mostly sort of a dull orange. But when I get to blues, I start to get this sort of pinkish orange in here, and it starts to fluoresce. Here's a royal blue LED. Where this thing really comes into play, though, is on purples. With a purple, it's taking that blue light and it's transforming it, and it's taking the red light and it's just letting it through. So purples and pinks, come across really well with this sort of blade, and the white is going to just give me this sort of off-white, orangey-pink. So an interesting option, not nearly as common, not nearly as versatile, but if you're in the market for purples and pinks, this is a really interesting way to go. The thing about the day blades, or the, sorry, the photon blades. Yes, you do get enhanced brightness. What you sacrifice for that is anything blue. Okay, if you like greens, you can use, or it'll make awesome greens. If you like reds, it's neither here nor there. It just goes right through and it's red. If, however, you like blues, 
a photon blade is going to shut you down. You will only ever get that sort of rack cool green. If that's what you're looking for, though, it's a great option. Hopefully this was useful. I've been trying, or I tried to explain how these things work. Uh, if you've liked this, please join me back for more videos in future.